In this video, I am going to be going over all of the new details we have for Season 4 of the Finals as a result of the early access that a lot of people had, well, access to because of, like, TwitchCon um, yesterday, probably, by the time this video is going live. So, sponsors. We have Exult, Halto, and Injimo. You can only pick one, so there's three sponsors to choose from, and you can only pick one to get the rewards from, and the rewards are probably going to be displayed on screen right now. So one of them is focused towards the light because there's a sniper skin, one of them is focused towards the medium because there's a FAMAS skin, and one of them is focused towards the heavy because there's some heavy weapon skin in there, I'm pretty sure. I'm not entirely certain if these are all of the rewards that you're going to be seeing on screen or if these are just some of the rewards um i don't really know we're probably just gonna have to wait to find out um when season four finally arrives but these definitely could be all of the rewards here um facial hair is also new i'd imagine this is going to be free and i'd imagine it's all going to be kind of introduced at once and you can just instantly go ahead and customize it there might be more facial hair options you can buy later down the line that's how it works with hair but for now, you're probably just going to get, uh, like, automatic access to it. Um, so these are compatible with both character body archetypes and also all of the faces. So you can mix and match as much as you want. We also have eight loadout slots. I'm not too sure how many we have right now. It's probably something like six. But we're going to have eight loadout slots, which is very, very nice. Um, it would have been nicer to have nine. I'm not too sure where there aren't nine. But I guess eight is going to be just fine. Now... As for new stuff, there are no new gadgets or specializations, but there are three new weapons. The M26 light shotgun, the Pike medium DMR, and the Akimbo heavy deagles. All of these seem like they're going to be pretty decent, so it's not going to be like how the FAMAS and the 9th ER were when they launched, where just no one really used them ever. These all seem like they're going to have a certain role to play. Um, the heavy deagles just seem like they're very, very, very good. They seem like they pack a real punch, probably at, like, close to medium range. Um, and I feel like you can probably get a few shots off with them at the longer ranges as well. The medium, uh, pike is going to be good if you can land headshots, and if you can't land headshots, it's probably not going to be the best, but the headshots are, are pretty, uh, damaging. And then the light shotgun, from my understanding, is like the Model 1887, but it's weaker but it has a higher magazine and a faster reload, I believe. So that's my understanding of all of that. Also, scopes are new. So we're going to have different scopes that we can put on certain weapons. There's like a red dot sight. I think there is a zoomy scope as well. And then there's like an iron sight scope. I don't... Well, maybe I'll have images of these. I guess I'll have a look and I'll pop the images up if I have them. Uh, these aren't applicable to all weapons, they'd be applicable to the weapons you think they're applicable to. So, like the AKM, you can put a red dot sight on that. I think you can take the scope off of the FCAR. And like the zoomy scopes, like the LH1, I think you can put like a 3 by scope on as well. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I'm, I am I do believe that's how it works. If I'm wrong about that, I'll correct it with like some text on the screen right now. But scopes are new. Um, you're going to be able to take sco scopes off of guns that have scopes and put scopes on guns that don't usually have scopes. And this is very good because it's probably going to help a lot with the uh, visual recoil um, that a lot of people are just don't really like. There's like there's a lot of visual recoil in the AKM, and this should just help to get rid of that entirely, really. Um, so as for balancing, the RPG has been nerfed to 100 damage. The mesh shield has been nerfed to 500 HP, and there is now a cooldown between uses. I think both of these changes are probably quite good. The Lewis gun and the M60 have buffed recoil, so their recoil patterns are going to be easier to control. And also the M60 has received a fire rate buff. So it seems to me like both of these weapons are going to be back on the menu for most players. It's not just going to be flamethrowers and sledgehammers. I think you're going to be seeing a lot more Lewis guns and M60s in Season 4. Also, the th right click throwing speed of the throwing knives have been buffed. Apparently, there's been a dagger buff as well. I'm not too sure if this is just going to be like a fixed hitbox or something, but apparently there's some type of dagger buff that I don't really know much about. You can only have one glitch mine and one explosive mine, as opposed to having two, which is how it currently is, so those have been nerfed, basically. Your tracking dart is going to have two bullets. No, sorry. Your tracking dart is going to go from having two bullets to having four bullets, which 
is an interesting change that might honestly make this thing kind of useful. You're going to have three breach charges, and the CL40 can now two-shot lights again. So it's going to be buffed quite a lot, and it's going to go back to how it was working in Season 2, which I think makes a lot of sense. So those are all the, the pretty much confirmed, or very close to being confirmed things that I know about the weapon balance changes. There's probably more. There's probably some kind of, like... Um, maybe, let's say, lesser patches for some weapons, like maybe the damage of a weapon gets reduced from, like, 33 to 32 or something like that, so no one really picked up on it. There's probably some, like, damage fall-off changes as well, but all of that kind of stuff we're gonna have to actually see in the patch notes. We don't have any patch notes numbers or statistics or anything like that. We just have what people were playing with and what we could see and what people tested out in the firing range, so... That's all of the basically confirmed stuff, and then some stuff that I saw people saying that I'm not entirely sure about. Um, the AKM, I think, has 32 bullets now instead of 36. I really don't know if this has actually changed or not. Do let me know in the comments down below so other people can go in there and see about that, but that's an alleged nerf. I don't really know about it. And I've seen the weird thing going around about uh, cash out having... ranked cash out having three teams of three instead of having four teams of three. I also don't know about this. I don't imagine anyone actually played ranked mode while the event was live. So maybe they saw it in like the menu where the game modes were, but I'm not sure about this either. So this could just be, you know, fabricated or it could have like actual truth to it. I really just don't know. If someone knows, then leave a comment down below or just wait until season four arrives, which is in like four days at this point. It's very, very close. Um, and then last thing obviously is also going to be new battle pass. I'm not going to show that because I feel like that's a bit spoilery and there are other videos already showing the battle pass, but you can just go and look at what the entire battle pass is. So there's going to be new battle pass. There's going to be, there's probably going to be new career levels and there's probably going to be a new weapon XP level reward that you can grind up to and then you get the weapon skin for reaching that level with that uh, weapon. So that is all of the stuff that I could find regarding Season 4 of the finals. Again, there's probably going to be more balancing changes that we realize in the patch notes. It's impossible for everyone to try out all of the different weapons in a, in a pretty short time span. So that's the end of the video. If that's all you care about, you can click off that now. But just to announce, um, I have started YouTube memberships. So if you go to the channel, you can get you know, the emojis and stuff like that and special, like, membership perks if you join that. I've got, like, two levels. I think one of them is, like, three euros a month and one of them is ten euros a month. You can go and check it out on the channel if you're interested in that. I also do plan on starting to stream soon. I'll probably make, like, a community post as well on the YouTube page to tell people that I'm going to be streaming. I'll probably make... Maybe a schedule as well, if it goes well. I still have to do like a test stream first and all of that, but I'm definitely planning on starting streaming as well. So if you head on over to Twitch, it's just Swamp Fump. I'll probably link it in the description anyway. I'll link my Twitch uh, page in the description of this video so it's easy for you to click on. But if you wanted to give a follow on Twitch as well, because right now I don't have any because I, I haven't used Twitch before, then that would be very helpful as well. So I've activated YouTube memberships, which is a thing right now. And I'm also planning on getting my Twitch going too. And I am also planning on like just kind of doing more community posts and staying more engaged with all of y'all as well. Um, so yeah, there you go. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be it for this video. If you'd like to leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Farewell.